South Africa in South Africa test series? Is that as, is that as big a test as you can get for a team in rugby? Yeah, certainly at the moment it is, yeah. Um, you know, they they obviously world champions. Um, they've good continuity in their in their playing group. Um, they know what they stand for. Um, um, and I'd say there's a lot of confidence in their group at the moment. So it's it's a massive challenge for us to be away from home, to be down here. Um, uh, but our boys are looking forward to it. They named their team earlier on this afternoon. 20 of the 23 were involved in the, the World Cup final in, in some capacity. Um, it, it doesn't seem like you're going to be naming any kind of a weekend team at the weekend. There's no sense that this is a year one of a four-year cycle and people are going to be experimenting this weekend. No, uh, no, no I, I suppose not. I got a, a quick glance at their team, and that's a you know it's a big thing for any team that's successful. I think is is that kind of continuity. You look at any of the club sides that have been successful in recent times; they've kind of continuity of of coaching, continuity of players, continuity of of leadership. So, um, so they're certainly in a strong position, and it's an excellent side they've named. Yeah. How big a factor is that going to be again? again? It's, it's always a big fact, big factor against them. They're, you know, they're an excellent set piece side. They're an excellent line outside. They always have been. Um, cut us out at the start of the game in in, in the in the World Cup, and uh, uh, it was pretty disappointing. It was frustrating. It was delighted with how the players kind of managed their way through it and and, and got through it. But uh, it'll always be a challenge. I think. You know, two of their line-out operators must start, and it's a bit or two of the best of the business. Um, it's a bit in particular is very good at the front of the line-out. Um, must start generally covers everything at the back of the line-out, so they're they're a really good side. And uh, you know, I suppose we've been a little bit specific about them, but it's mainly been about doing our stuff a little bit better across the board. Um, um, and boys enjoy doing that. You know, we enjoy focusing on ourselves. I think you have to have a, a, a focus on the opposition and what they're going to do. But by and large, we, we focus on ourselves probably a little bit more than we did back in my playing days. And I think the boys enjoy that, and I certainly enjoyed as a coach as well. And just finally, then, as you compared to your playing days, Irish players and Irish teams are getting a lot more used to coming out here to play matches. Do you think that, with the way the URC is at the moment, is is it benefit to you to have that a little bit more experience of coming out to altitude, playing games at either Loftus or in Johannesburg or, or around the place? Yeah, I think you know playing the South African teams. You know that's what the European Cup gave us at the start was playing playing French teams, playing English teams, realizing what the standard was, um, and the South African teams have been a brilliant addition in terms of they play differently. They they all play differently, but they all have that certain South African identity as well around set piece, around mall, around scrum, um, and I think it's been really good for our players to have to learn to deal with that challenge and to. You know, to have to train and prepare for it every week, and I suppose they bring in a certain amount then of that intelligence into our camp when, when we uh, when we come together. So um, I think it's raised the standard of the URC massively. It's uh, and I think it, it's probably tough spending time away, m more time away from home. You know, when you play in France or you play in England, you're probably away for for a day or two. But I think a lot of the provinces have enjoyed their when they have to go down to South Africa for two weeks, they kind of get, it's almost, they become like an international side. They stay in a hotel for two weeks and they get to, to do a lot of work with the players rather than the players going home in the evening. So um, I know a lot of the provinces have gotten benefit from that. And, you know, any time there's good coaching and improvements happening in the provinces, it always bleeds into us and helps us. Uh, yeah, I think, look, we're lucky in terms of how we manage the players. It's, it's probably been a, a, a long year, but the players have gotten plenty of, of time off in the year. Um, you know, weeks where, weeks where you're not training, you're not playing, you don't have almost the, the mental pressure that comes with a game. 
Uh, so, uh, and then players tend to be on different journeys. Some players, you know, were out of were out of things a little bit earlier, so got a little bit of time and got that mental break and that physical break. Some guys pick up an injury during the year and they get their break there. So, you know, whenever we've come on tour in 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 the last few years, or whenever we've come together after a particularly heavy period with the provinces, we've always noticed our players. You know, there's never a feeling that we have to manage them or, or, or manage their load and we haven't felt that over here. I suppose the travel, you know, we're just being a little bit careful with the travel. We arrived in uh, two groups at kind of different times and we were careful in that first session. But, you know, we haven't changed how we've trained a whole lot in terms of, you know, if this was a November or if this was a Six Nations. So, um you know, and, and I think Andy and the staff would have a good feel for that in terms of being able to change that. But we haven't felt we had to. So players feel fresh and they feel good and they feel, they feel ready. And uh, you know, I know that South Africa now a few of their players are away and play in France, but a lot of them are home based as well, and they get that chance to manage them and manage their load as well. So um, there won't be an asterisk after the result anyway, saying uh, who was fresher and who was less fresh. So uh, it is what it is. Well, the breakdown has become a massive part of the game everywhere. Uh, you know, you look at the the French final uh, last week. You look at the European Cup final. You look at uh, you know France playing at the moment. You look at South Africa playing. It's it's a real battlefield. You know, um, it's gone back a little bit old school where teams are a lot more willing to risk putting numbers into the breakdown and, and creating a little bit of havoc in that breakdown. I think teams have gotten very good at pick and choosing their moments based on the position of the field that, that, a, that a team is in to go after certain breakdowns. Um, they're very good at uh, you know sensing a little bit of vulnerability, whether it's numbers, whether it's someone with a bad body shape at a ruck. Um, the decision making at the breakdown has almost become like the decision making that players have with ball in hand or the decision making that players have to do when they're attacking and uh, um, you know it's a big challenge for us uh, you know at any time you play South Africa the breakdown is always you know a big challenge because our boys really enjoy it as well we some excellent poachers some real good counter rockers very good decision makers at the breakdown so um, it'll be a big part of the game at the weekend. Fox just named the team that got the 6-2 split very forward heavy. You know what's coming. Does it change how you guys are approaching this week or more of the same? No, it probably doesn't change how, how we approach the week. You know, you have an awareness of it and, um, you know, you know, we have to select for what we have and, and, and prefer for prepare for how we want to play and what we want to do um, in that second half. So, um, you know, probably doesn't change our preparation massively.